रिस्पॉन्स जनरली कम्स इन टू फॉर्मेट इधर इन एक्स एम एल और इन जेसन इन पावर एप वी कैन सी दैट वी कैन इजिली हैंडल द जेसन फॉर्मेट यूजिंग द पार्स जेसन फंक्शन इन पावर एप बट वट अबाउट द हैंडलिंग ऑफ एक्स एम एल इन पावर एप फॉर नाउ देर इज नो एस एस डायरेक्ट फंक्शनलिटी टू एंटरटेन द एक्स एम एल फॉर्मेट डाटा इन पावर एप वेन एवर यू गेट द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ एनी ए पी it might be in the json or in the xml okay so in this video i'm just focusing more on the xml format how we can entertain the xml response in our power app hi everyone this is prashant choudhury i welcome you all to my channel classic power for this video i have created one xml format data so let me just show you so this is the file that i have created this is type of a response that i configured in type of xml okay and in power app right now there is no ss direct functionality to do the parsing of xml so what approach we will use we first convert the xml data into the json data and then do the parsing so i stored this response of this xml data into one of my sharepoint folder let me just show you so here you can see uh it's stored into one of my sharepoint folder my custom xml file dot xml the extension is dot xml okay so here you can see i have my some data now what we need to do is we need to first convert that data into the json and then use those rows into our power app okay in order to convert those data into the json first we need to use the power automate because power automate would be doing that so in power automate we need to create some flow so let's come to the power automate for now we come to the power automate and meanwhile i'll open one blank application get xml rows okay come to power automate here we come to the create the new flow and i want it to create from my instant flows and it should be power app trigger because i want the response in my power app get xml data test okay. please ignore the naming conventions because my naming convention is not as good <laughs> okay so now our first task is to convert that data into the json so as this is stored into some of my sharepoint folder so i need to first get the properties of this file what i'll do i use sharepoint connector get file connect content so i get this get file content here and i simply use the locations my location is my site and the folder it is stored is inside my um, share documents and here you can see my custom xml file i got this now we'll do the baby steps i simply save this file and test it here only just to check whether it is giving the right format or not okay so let's check it out and it has successful run now i can see i got this data here okay the reason why i have done this because i need this schema okay i what i do i simply click on the control a control c i simply make the copy of this data and paste it to one of my notepad notepad Let's say this one. Now, what do we do? We add one parse JSON connector. Okay. We use parse JSON. As this is not the JSON format, so what we need to do, we need to convert this file. If I open, show you this file, how this file is actually looks. This is the file. In order to convert this file into the JSON, what we need to do is this the below one from this company to company this is actually the response and there is one line at the top 
so what i can do i can first remove this line from the response and then like from from the file content and later on i can use the below things to convert its xml into the json okay so i come to the power automate and here i'll write the function of that what will be that function i use go to the expression i first replace it use the replace function but it needs to replace the dynamic content and the file content okay later on comma what text i need to reply replace so i come to this file and i can see this first and i need to just remove so i control c and come to my flow and here on the single quotes i paste it like that after that instead of this replace i need to uh, paste blank was this okay now my next task is to convert as it's an xml okay so we need to tell the system that it's an xml file so i use xml function directly okay? and close this into the bracket at the last close this one now i need again this to convert into the json so i use the json function directly here j s o n and close this again come go to the last and close this bracket click on the okay now here i need to pass the schema so the schema will be the one that we copied from the last run this one i simply take the copy of this tilt company come from could go for the generate from sample and here if we pass something here it would not work because it's, it's an excellent format so what do we do i simply write my own let's say i use curly braces and use name name as name as let's say for now i'm just using prashant okay, okay done and then now again, again do the testing this runs and then run test it's running okay so here what i get is i get this data here now what i do i use this data this body control a control c and come to edit mode and then go to the generate one and remove this one and the paste the new values then so it will create the schema for me okay now my next work is i use one more parse json because if i open my this file i can see i have the company and in the later in the company i have the details and in the later in the e details i got this data so i need two parse json so i use one more parts json okay and here what i do i pass the dynamic content and the dynamic content what will be that dynamic content if i come to this one i can see the data which actually close to my actual data the response is the details tag okay this is details is actually close to my response so i use the here in the parse json 2 i use details from the for first step okay i use details and here i need to pass the schema so what i'll do i come to this one okay i haven't copied that no worries okay i should have copied that okay no worries we can again do the same and what i do i simply come to this point do some bracket then let's say name and after that i can use chant okay now test it save it and then test it okay there is some error it has raised 
no worries i am more interested to get the schema okay so i can get the schema from here directly so what i do i simply copy this schema control s and then go to the edit here on this generate schema i pass that one now click on the okay done now i use one variable that would be my i'm just initializing one variable let's say the name of the variable would be where type would be let's say string and the value it is taking would be the body of the partition too so here okay now i need one more action which would be responding to my power app r-e-s-p-o-n respond to my power and here i use one text controlled it would be my result and here i'll do the little type casting let's say string bracket and then i can pass that variable inside this this is my var variable okay click on okay now i simply save this flow now I come to my power app okay in the power app i need to add that flow first how can i add that flow i come to the flows click on add and then search my for my flow what is that uh, XML test, yes, here it is. We add XML data text, okay? So we use this flow. Meanwhile, I insert one button and one gallery. Okay, so this side, on the click of this button, as I'm getting response from the, uh, from the Power Automate, so I use set variable and I'm using, let's say, where, where one I'll try to actually increase the speed of mine because i'm just running out of from the time okay now i call my flow and then the response is result i stored that to into my where variable okay now i can insert some label here so that i can see what response i'm getting and let's say this um, where where one okay now let's try Click on this button i get some data here okay now what i need to do i need to parse this data i use parse json and it would be where one and as type of a table so i enclose it into the table so that when you tell the tell it that's a table I got this table now. Now, when as we have in, uh, used the parse JSON function, we need to go to the setting, in the upcoming, and we'll use the parse JSON as true. Okay. Now close it. Come back here. Here I'll use dot. What was my name? Let's say name, and it should enclose into the text. okay so now my next thing is like it's a variable type text type we are missing something it's a table dot okay so here you can see i got my name what you can just notice like this item dot value dot here i'm just passing the column names so here you can see i have the next column as city so i pass the city and enclose it like how, what is the data type of this one so it's type of text i can see the city is coming okay so that is how we get the xml data uh, 